Happy Saturday, Jousters, April 4th. I've got a great workout for you today. We are going to tackle workout number one of the Support Your Local Box fundraiser put on by CrossFit Headquarters. CrossFit has been so generous in putting this on for us to support affiliates worldwide uh, struggling from the COVID crisis. The way it works, there's going to be a workout release each week for three weeks. This is week number one, so we are going to tackle workout number one released by CrossFit today. Uh, it's free. Sign up. Highly encourage you to sign up. Join our team virtually. We'll have our own team scoreboard on uh, CrossFit.com. All you have to do is go to games.crossfit.com to sign up. You have the option, if you so please, to uh, donate to an affiliate of your choice. You can donate to Joust. Uh, if you don't donate, no big deal. We want you to sign up. We want you to be involved. And we want you to tackle these workouts with us. Uh, if you would like to donate, you can donate to CrossFit Joust or another affiliate uh, of your choice that you know is uh, struggling from the COVID crisis. Just make sure when you sign up that you join CrossFit Joust regardless. That way you're on our team scoreboard. You can have all the fun with us. Uh, workout one. Let's do it. Here's what we got. We're going to start today with that at-home Joust standard warm-up. After that warm-up, getting you nice and loose and ready for this workout, you'll do 35 seconds of a handstand hold. Let's stay consistent with those. Keep getting better with the handstands. Workout number one, here's what CrossFit threw our way. Uh, it's a good one. We're going to knock out an AMRAP as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes of these three movements. We've got 10 air squats, 9 dumbbell snatches right arm, 10 push-ups, and then 9 dumbbell snatches opposite arm, left arm. Once you finish those 9 dumbbell snatches on your left arm, you're going to go back to the top of the list and keep repeating that pattern as many times as you can in 10 minutes. 10 air squats, 9 dumbbell snatches right arm, 10 push-ups, 9 dumbbell snatches left arm. Our goal for this workout, as always, have fun, move well, and let's try to get somewhere between like 6 and 8 rounds, maybe 9 rounds, maybe pushing 10 if you're pretty darn good at snatches and push-ups, uh, but really we should have a weight for the dumbbell that we could do like 12 to 15 unbroken reps while we're fresh. Uh, if we put a prescribed weight on it, which CrossFit has, it's 35 for the ladies, 50 for the guys. I think we all know that we're limited to the dumbbell uh, that we have at home. Most of us uh, have one. Some of us have a couple. So try to use the one uh, that you could get at least 12 to 15 of. But at the end of the day, use what you have and, uh, and do it well. Scaling options for this workout. Uh, number one, we can lighten the load uh, on the snatches if we, have that, uh, if we have that availability at home for different size weights. Um, if you feel like... The weight you have is too light. You could do like 20 in a row and you have another dumbbell. Let's go up in a size. If you feel like, ah, it's just too heavy. I can't quite stabilize overhead or I'm not able to get uh, 12 to 15 while I'm fresh and you have the option, let's go a little lighter. Uh, if you don't have a dumbbell, use a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, let's use an odd object, perhaps a water jug, maybe a backpack, something that you can grip, keep close to your body and take from the floor overhead. That's the movement pattern we're going for. If you're new to the world of snatches, let's go from the hang position and do hang power snatches instead of power snatches all the way from the floor every time. Uh, push-ups, options on the push-ups, we can go from the knees. We're going chest to the floor at the bottom, arms straight at the top. If we can't get that range of motion, knees are going to be a good option for you. Or I like the incline variation that we can do from a chair, from a bench, from a table, something you have available that allows your body to be at more of an incline. All right, that's our workout today. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, make sure you join us tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for the live stream or uh, the coach-led Zoom class at 10 a.m. One of those two options is going to be great for you to check this workout out and join us. Let's talk about the movement points performance, uh, and then we'll tackle this workout. For the dumbbell snatch, we're going to take the bell from the ground close to our body. We'll use our hips and punch it all the way overhead. So we're going from the floor, jump, punch, and land overhead. The closer we can keep this bell to our body, the more efficient we'll be and the safer we'll be. We're trying to keep that chest up and back flat in our starting position. I'm essentially going to lift this bell just above my knees, and this is where the magic happens. I jump, extending my hips violently, punch the bell overhead, and then land with a nice active shoulder. We're not done yet, we'll stand all the way up. And then another rep on that same arm, we touch, 
both ends of the dumbbell to the ground, keep the bell close throughout, jump, punch, and land. Remember, first set of snatches, it's on the right arm, second set of snatches, left arm, all nine, right, all nine, left. Cool, cool. If we are new to the world of snatches, we feel a little more comfortable going from a hang position, we can do that, we keep it above the knees, jump, punch, and land. Above the knees, jump, punch, and land. If we don't have a dumbbell, we can use a kettlebell. Don't have a kettlebell, an odd object or a water jug works really well. Same concept, from the floor, jump it overhead, punch and land with that active shoulder. You may be laughing, this is no joke. You can do more rounds this way and your heart rate will go up. Push-ups, we are looking for arms straight to start, chest to the floor at the bottom, Arm straight to finish, full range of motion there. If we need to scale this to maintain that range of motion, let's go knees to the ground and knee push-ups. I also like the option to use a chair or a bench or a table, whatever you have available that allows you to keep your body at an angle and still get that range of motion. Best for last, I skipped it. I think we're all pretty familiar with it, but air squats. Just so we're on the same page. Feet shoulder width, we squat down below parallel and we stand tall at the top every time. Keep those arms up for good posture. Keep that chest up. Keep that nice lumbar curve. Let's have some fun with this workout, Jousters. It's gonna be spicy quick. It's only 10 minutes though. Join us, 9 a.m. live stream, 10 a.m. Zoom, and uh, make sure you register regardless. We're in this together. Let's do it.